So I'm going to be really quick because I know we want to hear from the young people and we want to hear from the mayor. But I just first and foremost want to thank all of you for coming out. And then I also just want to give acknowledgement to, I was actually surprised, I know this is the first week of school, and so to have so many of the young people show up today. So let's give them a round of applause. I'm not going to take up a lot of time. I know the, the mayor is going to come up and speak, but I just want to say that for me, this project this summer, and I, I'm actually going to do like old school and tell the people in the back that we could still hear you, and we're trying to talk up here, so shh, right? That's where I'm trying to be a kinder, gentler person, Mayor Bree, but it's, 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 it's really hard. Um, just this for me has been the most amazing summer in the sense that for, I don't know, decades, the mayor and I have been working in community and really trying to think about like, how do we grow this work to scale? How do we leverage? And I will say that I believe wholeheartedly that the role that the mayor has taken on of mayor is solely for things like this. The ability to create pathways, to do pipelines, to do networking, to connect people with opportunities they would otherwise not have, and to actually use the platform in the way that she has touches my heart. And I'm just grateful to be a part of that. There's so much more I know I need to say. There are so many other people I need to recognize. I know that Supervisor Brown, Supervisor Walton, Supervisor Mandelman are in the room. Thank you for being here. Um, Chief Scott was here earlier. There are a bunch of department heads, but there are, to me, two groups of people that are most important here tonight. That is the employers and the young people. The fact that employers stepped up to give young people an opportunity, not knowing whether they were going to be perfect or kind of okay, and the fact that young people trusted us to find a place for them, even though we had some kinks. So thank you to the employers and the young people. This is all about you tonight. Thank you for all that you've done. And the reason that we are here in this way is because of the vision of Mayor Breed, who wasn't just happy to be the mayor of San Francisco, but that she really does believe that every young person sitting out here has the potential, the ability, and the skills to be in her seat. And so thank you, Mayor Breed, for launching this. Thank you for letting me be a part of it. Thank you, Patrick, for like beginning this journey. And without further ado, I want to recognize and thank Mayor Breed and bring her up to the stage. Let let me start by saying that I couldn't think of a better person to launch this program, to lead this program, than Cheryl Davis, who has been really an incredible partner, as she said, for decades. And the work that we did in the Western Edition to ensure that all of our kids have access to an opportunity to not only succeed in life but to thrive was something that she believes in, something that I believe in, and is why we are here today. Now, I always like to tell this story because you see me today and you're like, wow, she's the mayor. She dresses pretty nice. She knows how to speak publicly. But I didn't just appear like this because, in fact, it did take a village. I was really lucky when I was 14 years old to get an internship working at a place called the Family School, where I showed up the first day with my cut-off jeans, my see-through t-shirt, and a bad attitude. And in fact, it was not easy to work with me. I would answer the phone like this. Some of y'all smiling, because y'all know y'all did the same thing. Hello? Who you looking for? I don't know who that is. Hold on just a minute. That's, that's exactly how I would answer the phone. And so Mignon McGriff, who was my direct supervisor, said, I'm sorry, London, this is not going to work. I, and I'm thinking, OK, I'm about to be shown the door, but I wasn't. She said, I want you to write down this, and I want you to repeat it over and over again and use this language when you answer the phone. Hello, this is London Breed. Thank you for calling the family school. How may I help you? 
And so I had to say that over and over again to the point where clearly I still know it today like my ABCs. The fact is, instead of showing me the door and firing me, she saw potential. And she worked with me along with so many of the other adults who worked at the family school, so much so to the point where when the summer was over, they allowed me to stay and work there year round. So I was in high school at Galileo High School. I would take the 22 Fillmore bus to go to the family school on Fillmore and Oak. And I worked there a couple of days a week. And that provided me with an incredible opportunity, um, really, because I grew up poor. I lived in public housing. My grandmother got welfare and food stamps. I know it's EBT cards now, but welfare and food stamps and, and WIC and anything that you can think of in order to take care of me and my brothers. And so I was really blessed to have this incredible opportunity with people who cared about my future, people who talked to me about going to college and what I wanted to do with my future, people who helped me learn how to work in a professional environment, people who didn't see a problem to address. They saw an opportunity to help a young person grow and succeed. That opportunity led me to college led me to work in the community at the African American Art and Culture Complex, led me to run for office, and led me to this very place as your mayor. And I am so honored and proud. I'm so honored and proud to be here today, but I can't help but think about a lot of the young people that I grew up with who never had this opportunity. People who ended up behind bars. People who ended up dead on our streets because of gun violence. People who ended up in all kinds of situations. So many people that I grew up with who didn't get this opportunity. And that's why it was important to me when I became mayor that we launch a program so that every kid in this city Every young person, no matter where they live, no matter where they came from, if you wanted an opportunity to work, if you wanted an opportunity to learn, then we wanted to provide that opportunity to you. And I didn't want money to ever be a barrier to your ability to participate in learning about so many things in San Francisco, because I didn't know what was possible. And I want you to know what's possible, whether it's working in the financial district as a financial advisor, working at a bank, running your own company, starting your own small business, or working for any industry in the city, or heck, even becoming mayor. I want you to know that you can do whatever you want to do. It's up to you. It's up to you to put in the effort and the work in order to succeed. And I want to make sure that no matter what's going on at home, that you have a supportive environment of adults who are here to invest in your success and your future. So this is why Opportunities for All was so important. It was important because we had to make sure that we had enough slots so that nobody was turned away, and we succeeded in that. Yes, we put money in the budget, and I want to thank the Board of Supervisors and the folks who supported the additional money that we invested, an additional $8 million to support this program in our city budget. And I want to also I want to also thank some of our key sponsors, the companies who really went above and beyond and made significant contributions to ensure the success of this program, starting with our premier sponsor, Alaska Airlines. Thank you so much to Alaska. Also, AT&T, Uber, Google, and Airbnb were significant sponsors to this program, along with a number of others.
Now, I know there were a lot of contributions, and we appreciate it, but we also need more because our children are who we need to invest in. We need more because this program needs to be year-round for those who need these opportunities. And I'll tell you, the truth is, the difference that it made for me is I had a job, but there were other people who didn't have a job who unfortunately needed money and chose to commit illegal acts to get money. And that is what I want to prevent. I want to make sure that young folks are not choosing to do things that would land them in juvenile hall or anywhere else because they don't have the means to take care of themselves. And that's why this program has to expand. It has to be more than just a summer program. It has to be a year-round program, one that I'm committed to. And in fact, in fact, I want to take this opportunity to acknowledge the Kaiser Permanente Foundation for a $500,000 contribution towards that goal. And I also want to highlight the fact that San Francisco has incredible wealth. And all of those companies out there, I'm going to be looking to many, many more to do more to invest in our young people and their future. We are going to be holding folks accountable to ensure that you are successful. But it's not just about the money. It's also about the placements. And so we were really lucky that even though we had a short time period to put together enough placements for all the young people who wanted this incredible opportunity, it was very difficult to get folks in the private sector to step up. We got some, but not enough. And so this year, I'm going to be twisting some arms at some of those companies so that you all can have more incredible opportunities. But I would like to thank some of our city departments that stepped up because they knew we needed them, including the airport. And I see Ivar here. Thank you so much to the airport. I want to thank Mohammed Nuru and the Department of Public Works, the Office of Economic and Workforce Development, and thank you to Chief Stott and the San Francisco Police Department. So our city department stepped up. Our, some of our private partners stepped up, as I had mentioned before, including EcoBay. Thank you, Patrick, for your advocacy and the work that you continue to do to provide opportunities for young people. And I also want to specifically talk about my experience uh, at Airbnb and, again, thank them for not only uh, committing to supporting young people, and I think you might be hearing about their experiences later, uh, but they brought in professional coaches and all kinds of other, you know, unique and incredible things to not only enhance their experience, and then they also upped their salary. So they were getting paid like $20 an hour instead of the $15 an hour. And they are committed to saving some of that money, buying their own school clothes, and helping their parents with some household-related expenses, right? <laughs> but as I said, the experiences, which you will hear from some of the young folks today, are just absolutely amazing. And I also see um, Big Rich from Project Level. And thank you for also providing one of those opportunities year-round for our young people. And, and as I said, I'm committed to this program, and I hope you are committed to this program. I'm committed to your future. I hope you are committed to your future. We want to make sure that, for example, as the first African-American woman to be mayor of San Francisco, I cannot be the last. So I'm going to be counting on all of you, all of you to do well in school, all of you to take advantage of these incredible opportunities, and all of you to be the next success stories in our city. 
We are not going to leave one child behind in San Francisco, and it starts with this incredible program. So thank you, everyone, for your participation, all the companies, all the people. And I'm going to be asking for more of you for our next year's program and to support our year-round efforts. And again, thank you, Cheryl Davis, for your leadership. So many amazing people. And at this time, we have a, oh, okay, I'll let Cheryl get back up here. Anyway, thank you all so much for being here. So Leanne is going to be our first speaker, but I did just want to recognize Joaquin Torres, Josh Arce, the school district, and Maria Sue for their partnership in this work. And also the commissioners Hajazi and Pellegrini from the Human Rights Commission, um, commissioners Stephen Cook, Allison Collins, and Jenny Lamb for being here. Hi, thank you everyone for being here tonight. Uh, my name is Leanne Roberts. <laughs> uh, my name is Leanne Roberts, and I was interning with um, Opportunities for All this summer. Um, we partnered with Heat of the Kitchen, which was a culinary cohort, and it was teaching kids. Um, culinary skills throughout the summer so that they could learn how to cook for themselves, but it was also teaching them skills in how to work together to have a successful uh, final out um, product. Um, and it was really rewarding to see everyone come together and you know, make something together for themselves that would be enjoyed for the whole entire group. Um, they also learned skills such as, um, you know, how to behave in a workplace, how to come in on time, uh, what proper attire you need to wear in specific workplaces, and so on and so forth. Uh, I really appreciated the opportunity to work with everyone this summer, and um, thank you. Hello, I'm Rome Jones. I was an intern lead with the design and development cohort. And basically, what that consisted of for me was just, well, Jesse Stewart of Align definitely set up the schedule for us. So all I had to do was like communicate with the interns. Um, things that we did, we visited a bunch of different sites in San Francisco that are being developed like as residential and multi-use buildings, which was super interesting because we got to see like each phase of that, like the beginning and we heard about the process of the SF Planning Commission and how much trouble developers have with that. Which is like, if you hear the stories in the news about gentrification and things of that nature, it's super interesting to see the other side. And I think our interns really had a great time. They all really didn't know much about real estate from the commercial aspect. And what happened for them was they started to ask different questions and explore different careers in real estate. And most of them connected with a mentor of one of the guest speakers that we had. So definitely a great opportunity. And for myself, being that I'm an actual residential realtor, it was great. That was a self plug. So if anybody wants to buy a house, <laughs> let me know. Whenever. It's good, I got you. But, um, but it was really cool to see the commercial side and think about like the process of developing property and different things that I can explore as well in real estate. So Opportunities for All was a great opportunity, I guess, for all. Um, <laughs> and I definitely want to thank Mayor Breed for you know, taking the initiative to put that out there for the young people. I think coming from one of those same communities, it's super important to have that and be exposed to different things. I've been to far more funerals than I can count because of gun violence in my community. Sadly, I still have friends and family members who are behind bars and many suffering from addiction and other challenges. Why wasn't there an opportunity available to them? That's why I started Opportunities for All. I wanted to make sure 
that kids in San Francisco, no matter what part of the city you live in, no matter who your family is, no matter what school you go to, money should never be a barrier to your ability to succeed in life. Today, we are here to officially kick off the first class of Opportunities for All. I'm 13 years old. I'm from the Excelsior District. I'm 14 years old. I'm 20 years old. I'm from the Tenderloin. I'm from the Mission. I'm 17 and I'm from Bayview Hunters Point. Every organization is going to have different resources for all the students to receive and I'm just so excited to know that I'm going to have help. I can take that with me for the rest of my life. It's about being a good neighbor. It's about paying your part and helping to support people that were there before you got there. So our responsibility as we see it is to listen, to be a thought partner, sit at the table, and understand how we can support really great work that's happening in the city. We want to be able to have young people benefit from the booming economy. We want them to be able to make enough money to live here in the city. I think I'm learning a lot of valuable life skills that will help me like get a job once I become an adult and need like a full on like career. Through Opportunities for All, I was placed here at the DL Museum as a curatorial intern. Through Opportunities for All, I was placed at McLaren Lodge. Through Opportunities for All, I've been placed at Cold Tenderloin. I was placed at Heat of the Kitchen and what we do here is like we cook, like we talk about like future job references, like how to prepare for like an interview, and what type of recipes you like to make. Opportunities for all should be everywhere. I think that all the kids in like the world should be a part of it. Opportunities for All is a beautiful program with, I think, wonderfully coded language because we know that if you solve for us, if you solve for equity, then you solve for everybody. Hello? Good evening, everybody. I know the mayor is right here, but come on. Good evening, everybody. Thank you. OK. My name is Rakaya Angelis, and I recently graduated from the Dev Mission Robert B. Pitts Summer Cohort of 2019. Last week. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Mayor London Breed for investing in our youth, and for not only investing in our youth, but investing in me. JCYC and the Opportunities for All program that assisted in exposing us to tech and professionalism within the corporate world. The way I learned about Dev Mission was through various college prep advisors at my former high school of Abraham Lincoln High School. During this program, I've learned the basic coding languages of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, how to break, rebuild, and identify the main components of a system unit, and how to network on a corporate level. I have also, it has also helped me accumulate money that will be going towards my college tuition for SF State University, where I will pursue a major in computer science. Having learned these skills, I hope to one day enter the workforce, the tech workforce, and change the face of women of color in the tech industry. Okay. Okay. Prior to this program, it seemed like this idea was just a dream. But with the guidance of Dev Mission, Opportunities for All, and Mayor London Breed, it slowly is becoming a reality. For example, last week I was speaking at my graduation, and today I'm speaking in front of you all and the mayor. <laughs> the Dev Mission environment across all sites from Robert B. Pitt's Western Edition all the way until Valencia Gardens has proven to be welcoming, serving, and beneficial to everyone who walks through the door. Programs such as Dev Mission are crucial to young people of color such as myself and other people in this room because it not only provides various opportunities such as OFA STEM internships available in the fall, but it is, it is closing the tech, gap, tech skills gap in creating the next generation of tech talent. 
Lastly, I would like to give a big shout out to Mayor London Breed again. J Dev Mission and its executive founder and executive director Leonardo Sosa. <laughs> Opportunities for all in JCYC for not only investing your money but investing your time. Thank you. everybody, how y'all doing? My name is Lajaya and this summer I internshiped at Airbnb. <laughs> so something I learned at Airbnb is how to network and how important it is to network because it's not only what you know, it's also who you know to get far in life. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kaylani Kelly. I go to Wallenberg High School and I am in 12th grade. Um, something I learned like during my internship at Airbnb is like it's always good to work in a different atmosphere, in a different environment with peers older than you and that come from different backgrounds and different ethnicities. From my personal experience, it was like, it was good because I got to, like my mentor, she taught me a lot about careers and about different type of things you do there. And so something that was interesting to me was fashion. And so like in the future, I hope that I get to be at Airbnb, like have that as a career and do fashion and design. How y'all doing? All right, I don't like your energy. Can I get another one? How y'all doing? All right, that's good, that's good. It's good to be alive. Um, my name is Arbery. I go to uh, City College. I'm an incoming freshman. And one thing I learned from Airbnb is that um, it opens a lot of opportunities and doors for you. It's a good resume build for you. I feel like everyone should try to apply for Airbnb next year. <laughs> everyone. Don't feel like you could doubt yourself. Everyone could do it. Just put your mind to it, and I feel like you guys will strive. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Kali Aroche. Starting next week, I'm going to be a freshman at UC Merced. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One of the two of the things I really appreciate about this program was the amazing mentorship and the job experience I had. I'm really grateful for this opportunity. Thank you. Give it up for these young folks. Come on, everybody. It takes a lot of courage to do that, and that's, you guys are great. Now, I can already feel the talent and the energy in this room, uh, and I, I gotta give yourselves a round of applause. Come on, look at this group here today in front of Mayor London Breed. We really believe in all this, and uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Franco Finn, um, uh, the Community and External Relations Manager for Alaska Airlines. Yeah, and we've uh, given one of the first companies to actually give a large contribution to Mayor London Breed's Opportunities for All, and uh, we're very proud of that because we're supporting the community, this beautiful city that I'm from. Where are those the local, uh, local San Franciscans here? Make some noise. Yes, our beautiful city here. I know a lot of people are very excited about the Chase Center opening down the ways too. I'll also double up at night as your hype man for your Golden State Warriors. I know we got some Dub Nation fans in the house. Oh, we do. <laughs> and you know what? These opportunities, whether it's building stadiums, arenas, giving internships, this is quite amazing. And I want to ask the audience out there, how many who are working right now started with an internship, just that one chance, and, and now they're employed and doing what they do and love what they do. Look at, look at all the hands here. It all starts with that seed. And I know Mayor London Breed talked about her story, her first job here uh, in San Francisco. I'm gonna take a story with my, my dad, my late great father, who taught me the value of hard work. Uh, he used to make me volunteer at senior homes, you know, growing up in the church, doing a lot of great things in the community. He said, you know, always give back and that sort of thing. But he said, you know, volunteer at the, commu at, at the community church, volunteer at the elderly house. And so I did. And I remember this one job, I think I was probably about 10 years old. Uh, I wasn't even old enough to work yet, really. But 
You know what? There was one old lady there that said, you know what? I have all this uh, debris in my yard. I need someone to clean it up for me. And you're a young kid. Would you like to do that and help me? Because I can't do it uh, because I'm physically unable. So, of course, I said, yeah. My dad said, why don't you, you know, help the senior citizens and, and help the elderly. And so I did. And I did backbreaking work for like six to eight hours on that one Saturday afternoon. I remember I, I, I was sweating. My back was hurting. I'm like, this is a lot of hard work. And then I was thinking, man, I didn't even get paid, you know. But I was thinking, that's okay, though. I did something good. You know, I walked away thinking, okay, that's fine. I helped somebody out. That was rewarding for me. But you know what? That, that old lady said to me, hold on, young man. I got something for you. She pulled out a $5 bill. This is in the 80s, okay? I'm dating myself, all right? Early 80s. And she said, you know what? I know you did a lot of work for me. This is a lot of hard work. You cleaned my yard. I didn't have to do it. I really appreciate it. She gave me a $5 bill and said, this is for you. You know what I did with that? I didn't spend it. My dad taught me, you earned that. You earned that $5. Whether you volunteered or not, got paid or not, whatever it was. So you know what? To this day, I have that $5 bill framed in my house in this rickety frame, dusty, with $5 with the date that said I earned my first $5 bill. And you know what? That reward, that payoff, made me want to do more and work hard and that's the reason why I'm doing what I do today with Alaska Airlines being a great partner and sponsor of Opportunities for All, doing the things I do with the Golden State Warriors, all the different things that I do in this community, the city that I love, it's because of that one five dollar bill and that's all it takes, right? And so I just want to you know, end with that and I know Alaska Airlines is so happy to contribute to Opportunities for All being one of the first companies to really step up in a major way, in a major gift and you know we really believe in the community. Youth and education is one of our big pillars and we got a lot of great looking youth in the house here today. I can see it in your eyes. This is the torch. We are passing the torch to you guys. We believe in diversity and inclusion as well and that's a big pillar for Alaska Airlines and I want to end with this. You know, we also understand that although talent is equally distributed, opportunity is not. So my advice is, let's seize that opportunity, let's get it, and you're doing it right now. Take that first step, get that first $5 like I did, and be proud of all the hard work that you've, that you've done. So thank you on behalf of Alaska. fascinated by travel. You get to meet new people. If I didn't have this job, I'd be at home doing chores. We really just want people that are just so passionate, hungry, that have that drive, curiosity. Hi, my name is Erica Gordon. I'm 16 years old. I'm an intern at SFO and I work in food services. Hey! Hi. I work as a hostess in Farmer Brown Restaurant. Hi, my name is Yulia Alcaraz. I am 17 years old and I am an intern at SFO with guest services. Hello, my name is Juan Nunez. I'm 21 years old and I work for passenger services. ABM, this one. I work in dispatching. I also assist wheelchair agents. Yep. We're heading to gate 90. I'm Ivar Sadaro, and I started out as an intern with the city and county of San Francisco, and now I'm airport director. We see our interns important for the future success of our airport, and everyone has to start somewhere. I first started out by signing up for Opportunities for All. Opportunities for All is the mayor's initiative focused on paid internships for high school and transitional age youth up to age 24, really trying to address issues of equity and making sure that everybody has access and an opportunity to kind of build their skills. I have six younger brothers, a younger sister on the way. Although my house is really packed, I'll say like I'm really blessed because my mom can take care of all her children. And I feel like with this job, I'm showing her that I have the capability to be strong and powerful like she is. There's a lot of workshops to help with resumes, to help with LinkedIn. We even got a aviation field tour. It was really fascinating. If I get over my fear of flying, I'd like to do, be a flight attendant. 
Yuli is perfect as a guest services ambassador. No problemas con nada, su servicio. And she uses her language skills to help Spanish speaker passengers. It opens up their mind to the aviation industry, and we're just so happy that Alaska Airlines is committed to folks in this career path. SFO has a huge infrastructure that most people don't know about. It's a uh, little mini city. There's plumbers, electricians, carpenters, facility managers. It's definitely eye-opening for some of them to realize that there's more than just a ticket agent and, and an airline pilot. Working here has provided many experiences for my future career as a police officer. My dream job is to become a detective. Juan is one of our stars. Within two weeks that he was on boarded, he was promoted. When she first started, I had no idea she was an intern. She hopped right onto the floor. She started busting tables. She started seating guests. Being an intern at SFO has provided me with the social skills. It has helped me financially. I see this as something really good to put on my resume. I see this as something that will get the trust of other people. I'll make more companies want to hire me and they'll see how hard I work. Someday, if Erica would love to come back, I would, I would greatly love to hire her. Being an intern at SFO has provided me with confidence. Hi. Hi. I met with an Alaska rep, and it just it sparked something in me. You know? Let's get you, let's let's get you on that plane. So how do you feel? Excited, you know, just the sky's the limit. Juan Nunez, nice to meet you. I used to be the captain at the academy. Would you be interested in doing a tour one day? Yeah, of course I would. So if at any time you need any guidance or support, I'm okay. more than happy to offer that to you. Uh, I'm in shock right now. <laughs> yeah. San Francisco Airport is shining a light on this incredible program, and I am so excited and proud of the work that they are doing and will continue to do to make sure that we enrich the lives of young people all over San Francisco. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Teresa Moore. I'm with BlackRock, an investment banking and technology firm here in the city. And we had the honor of partnering with Opportunities for All to host five interns this summer. Earlier this year, one of our managing directors met Mayor Breed and asked, what can we do to help support you and your initiatives? And she said, bring on some interns. So we did. Over several weeks, we were able to have students participate um, in investment banking, which is everything every high school student wants to do, obviously. <laughs> um, they were able to work with our trading team, our technology teams, our engineering teams. We also gave them lessons um, around the industry, around financial literacy, around um, indexing, around investment banking, around stocks and equities, and start getting them in the mindset and understanding what debt is and what um, equity is and how to invest and how to think about school loans as they go into college and how to think about jobs and finances um, within their own lives. I will say that the program itself provided a great opportunity for the students, but at most it also provided a lot for our firm. Our business was able to understand the value and the efforts these kids put in. They, I would walk up to the student screens, they had multiple spreadsheets open and pivot tables and copying and pasting. Um, and it opened our firm's eyes to how beneficial and how helpful and how intelligent youth of this nature was. We had high school students, um, particularly with our program. I'll also say that one of the things that the students left with us, you know, she said m multiple students commented on how networking was an important value for them um, and being able to meet with other students, but as well as meet with professionals in businesses and offices downtown that they hadn't been in prior. And one of the students mentioned that she didn't realize that when you get into the office place, you're working on a team and you have support. She thought that once you're out of school, you're just kind of out there and have to survive and working on the teams that she did with our technology and investment banking teams, she realized how much of a community you continue to build outside of school and within your jobs, and how creating that alliance and allegiance and awareness made her feel more comfortable for the next step of her life as she transitions um, after, after undergrad, or to undergrad. 
So thank you very much to the Opportunities for All program. Cheryl Davis, thank you for making this possible. We were extremely late in looking to build um, this program this summer, and we're able to turn that, that around very quickly. And the firm is extremely happy to continue to engage over the next few years. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. How's everybody doing tonight? Awesome. My name is Leo Sosa. I'm the executive director and founder for Dev Mission. Dev Mission is a nonprofit organization that trains young people for careers in the tech industry in San Francisco and beyond. Why I decided to start this organization? Because when I grew up in Visitation Valley in the Twin Towers, there was no technology programs around that community. As a matter of fact, there's still no programs around technology in that community. We started two years ago to change that. We actually work in public housing communities. Valencia Gardens, West End Edition inside Robert B. Pitts, Sunnydale inside Mercy Housing and Visitation Valley, and Bayview Harness Point West and East and Westbrook. That is the reason why the Opportunity for All program was so necessary for us to create internships for young people living in those communities. 40 young people came to this program, and I remember the day I met with Josh and Cheryl, and they said, Leo, we need you to bring 40 young people, and I did that, because 40 young people are now exposed to careers in tech. There are 32, <laughs> there are 32,000 young people ages 16 and 24 living in San Francisco. Imagine if we can create an opportunity for all program for every young person that lives in public housing, affordable housing, low income communities. It's all up to you to make that happen. I would like to acknowledge the Mayor London Bree for creating this beautiful initiative, JCYC, Cheryl Davis, Josh Arce, Danielle, Veronica, Amelia, Andrew, and all of the wonderful OFA staff that made this happen. Put your hands together for all the OFA staff. <laughs> this summer was a blast. Remember when I shared grew up in Beast Valley inside the Twin Towers, 66th floor. We created wonderful opportunities for these young people in those communities. We had four sites. Mission Housing Development Corporation, San Francisco Housing Development Corporation, Mercy Housing, FRH Consulting came to answer and said, Leo, bring your program to this community because I know there is some tap talent sitting in those communities. Uber, Microsoft, and LinkedIn also provided funding for the staff that manage this program. So I'm very honored and excited to say that we need to continue to have an opportunity for all program, not only in San Francisco, across the Bay, across the state. There are subsidized employment dollars available for every young person in San Francisco ages 16 or 24. Let's change that. Let's support the mayor. All the tech companies out here, I'm not gonna call you out. And I'm wearing my Arabian B socks. You know why? We were supposed to hire young people working in Arabian B. It didn't happen because they didn't have documentation. But no matter what, they were available to be part of that program. And for me, that's the challenge that we are facing right now in San Francisco. Young people need to have that opportunity. Let's do it, let's change that. And by all means, if you do that, remember the day you were 16 years old with your first job. It's not about the $5 bill. It's about a $1,200 stipend that the young people receive this summer. Let's change that and double that for the young people so they can stay in San Francisco and do not leave San Francisco. Good evening. Hi, I'm Joan Scott with Dolby Laboratories, and I'm so thrilled to be here with this celebration of the inaugural summer session for 
opportunities for all. And Mayor Breed, thank you so much from all of us for your commitment and your dedication to making sure that young people have paid internship opportunities and educational opportunities. Um, at Dolby, we're passionate about inspiring the next generation of innovators because we know that you are our future. You're our future employees. You're the key to our future success. But also, we know about the power of young people getting opportunities. Ray Dolby, who founded Dolby Laboratories, started his career as a teenager. He was hired by a company on the peninsula who took a chance on a 15-year-old who ended up revolutionizing audio and video technology. And it started as a part-time and a summertime job with a company who took a chance on a young person who had a passion. So we're passionate about this. We're looking forward to continuing and growing our partnership with Opportunities for All. And, and Cheryl Davis and staff, thank you for making it possible for us to play in many different ways as community members, business partners, and the nonprofit sector as well. So thank you and congratulations to everyone who participated in this effort. I'm going to ask that the young people that are still here will come up on the stage. I want to give everyone another round of applause. Thank you so much. And we're going to ask you to take a picture with Mayor Breed. I want to also, again, just, um, I want to ask the OFA team, Danielle, JCYC, Alvin, Islet, Mary, James from Collective Impact, and Robin and folks to come up as well, because without you all, this would not have been possible. So give it up for everybody. And all the young people, come on up here, the ones that are still here.